My girls, yes, our girls have names. Our Gigabots are named. They're GG1 and GG2, GI, GI. And that's how we know which printer's acting up. And when the third one gets here, she'll be GG3. I'm Pamela Zamara, the owner of Pampton 3D Commercial Printing. We are in Youngstown, Ohio. Youngstown is highly noted for being so close to America Makes. With the Obama administration bringing this incredible opportunity, additive manufacturing has blossomed. With Pampton being a service bureau, we take the stress and the frustration away. It's our job to make sure everything is running smoothly when the business owners are going to sleep at night. Our printers are in the basement of our home. Yeah, the girls are downstairs. It's like having a baby in the house or a new puppy in the house. It's just a little bit of reassurance when you wake up in the middle of the night and just take a look at it and say, yep, everything's running good and you go back to sleep. We've heard many pros and cons about staying in the area that we're at right now. We have the advantage. At two o'clock in the morning, when the filament needs to be changed, it's being changed. With that accessibility, we're able to give our clients a much faster turnaround time. Within reason, the printer will always dictate when the job is going to be finished, but we lose no time. That's been a huge advantage where we're able to quote production, including all seven days, not just your Monday through Friday, eight to five. Right now we have going on nine years of additive experience. I have a college education in dental laboratory technology. I'm a certified dental technician and dentistry embraced additive manufacturing. With dentistry, it's a little bit different. You can't use FDM because of the micron levels. With the PolyJet printers, we were limited in size and materials. That was the big push for us to branch out into other areas of additive manufacturing. And from there, life has changed. When we only had our first Gigabot, it was trying at times. Who do you print first? The orders kept coming in. The size is the thing that really sells a lot of the clients. <laughs> Whoa, you can print it this large. Well, you can print that many pieces. Well, yes, we can. It's all about the size. Companies are able to come to us with these large parts. We need these printed. We want to see what these prototypes are going to look like. The largest print we've done so far was over three weeks. That is one of the biggest selling points of the Gigabot. And once companies hear about this, the work will continue to follow. Having multiple Gigabots has taken a lot of stress off. We're able to do multiple projects at one time. We needed it. The workload, it was, it was amazing. You never turn down an opportunity to be involved in a project. And what was happening is that the deadlines were coming too close. And that's a great problem to have. We had grown to where we needed the second printer. And where we're at right now, we will need a third. When we started this three and a half years ago, I never dreamt that we would be printing with the nylons, PA-12, the Teflon materials, stainless steel. None of this was ever dreamt of when we bought the first printer. We have done projects for students, entrepreneurs, large manufacturing facilities, steel mills, construction companies, companies that are restoring buildings, environmentalists down in South Carolina who are trying to educate. If it fits, we're gonna print. The last project we just completed was for NASA Glenn in Cleveland. NASA contacted us at the beginning of the month asked us to look at an STL file for the new Compass satellite. And they asked us to produce a number of prototypes for them. It's been a shining moment so far to be part of an incredible institution such as NASA and to do our part.